we had a friend staying over. Like we had we had like people over that night and we had like a one bedroom tiny apartment. So like we were all like kind of crammed into my bed. <laughs> and uh, I remember I had um, gone to sleep. You know, the two girls, they were they were asleep. You know, they were they were out like a light. Almost immediately the paralysis hits. Normal paralysis. Completely normal. You know, situation, like stereotypical dark room. Um, but in this, there's a, a really tall entity. Like, you know, if the room is eight feet tall, he is an eight foot tall dude with a hunch. Like, he's not fitting in this room. Uh, and there were red eyes. This is what I remember. And, like, very Mothman type shit, actually. And it starts talking to me. He repeats, you know who I am. You know who I am. You, you don't, don't know, know who I am right now. But I know you. And you know me. You are going to die. I just had this horrible experience, you know. And, you know, I believed it. I believed that this thing was telling me I'm, it was going to kill me. I'm going to die. And I'm sitting here feeling bad for her that she's freaking out. And I'm, I'm trying to calm her down. I figured, out she has, I figured she had a sleep terror or something like that. And she's telling me that on her chest, she saw something on her chest a cat with red eyes. And it was looking at me, talking in a language that she couldn't understand. Like it was on top of her, but threatening me. And the second she said it had red eyes, I just, like, freaked out. Like, I was just, I, like, <laughs> I remember this was during a time in my life where I was like, maybe I'm crazy, maybe, you know, it's fine. And then this happened, and then it immediately affirmed I thought I was going to be dead. Like, I just, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to die.